It's the second annual Rockford Hero Climb here at Guilford High School, Swanson Stadium. As you can see, 110 flights behind us, uh, equal to uh, those of the World Trade Center towers. Uh, everybody here is doing 30 flights up. So if you go up 30 times, it's equal to uh, 110 flights. Uh, so far, we had some people end already. They've done all 30, and others are working their way to, uh, towards it. Some people are doing what they can. Not everybody has to do it. Uh, as you'll see, there are people wearing lanyards. They are. Uh, each one has a story of somebody that perished. Uh, in the September 11th attack. So we do it in their honor and we're here raising money for the Greg Lindmark Foundation and all the amazing things that they do for the mental health of our local first responders. As I was trying to make it to the top, I was thinking this man had on more gear on him and he did it how many times? They didn't just do it once. And I'm like, we're doing it. And I kept telling my legs to shut up and keep moving. You know, actually this meant more to me than anything else because I talked to him the whole time I was doing it and, and he, he went with his group of firemen to a Yankee baseball team and he doesn't know how to dance but they made a dance for him and they were doing it on the bus so I kept telling him make my legs dance so I can get this over with. <laughs> Um, I'm glad it came as my first time and it was not me running for me for this time it was I was honoring captain today and honoring him as I was going up and down the stairs I was talking to him and letting him know that we're still here it's the reason I came out today I heard this on the radio fundraiser event for 9-11 and I personally take this day as you know, close to heart because my brother-in-law, he was one of the workers for the city, hauling all the debris that from the World Trade Center and of course, tragic day. But I just wanted to bring out a memento from that day to remind again everybody not to forget this tragic event. You know what they went through on that day? Granted, we were missing some of the gear that they had, but I still kind of feel what they were feeling. We were missing about 50 pounds less than they were carrying that day. <laughs> yeah, it burns. Burn. <laughs> it burns. You're walking up the flight of stairs, and with how heavy the bunker boots are, you, just, you can just feel it pulling down on your feet. The pain, the burn. Just go with it, push through. Well, I wanted to come out today and honor those that came before me. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I wanted to be a firefighter my whole life, uh, but when I got into this job and, and knowing what happened when I was younger, I wanted to be a part of it and, and honor those before me. Picked uh, Lieutenant Vernon Richards Sr. Um, I'm just gonna, I read his bio about him and it's just a little moving to learn about the people that, you know, that perished that, that, that day and just be thinking about him and all the others as I do this climb. It's a great event for people to come out and hopefully uh, more people will decide to do this in the future. At the end of the day, this is also my job. Uh, you know, we, we gotta be able to do this and if I know I can do this, I know I can push myself on a fire and climb those steps as well if I need to. Uh, I feel good. I feel proud of myself. Uh, it, would, it took a while. It took longer than I expected. You know, it's nothing like the Stairmaster where it's a set pace and you kind of got bars to hold on all the way up. But, uh, you know, I look down and you got Lieutenant Vernon here. I'll call him Captain Vernon because he was promoted posthumously. And uh, just motivation to keep going and I'll be back again next year.